I can look at the rocket launch. The biggest inspiration for my birding big year came from Neil Parents. I spoke about him earlier and he was, like I just said, my biggest inspiration. Um, and there were obviously small inspirations as well, such as the book The Big Year by Marco Baskic, and then obviously subsequently the movie, um, which was based on the book. But really, the true inspiration came from Neil Parents. Um, this guy sets off uh, January 1, and he ended off the day, Jan 1, on 250 something birds. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. And um, he, raced, he raced around the clock the entire year of 2011. And not only did he do a big year and reach that milestone of 800 species in a year, but he, he brought, he's currently holding the record for the most birds seen in a, in a Southern African year, uh, which is 826 species. Now that is it's, it's an absolutely phenomenal achievement and something that he's obviously proud of and that um, everybody around him is, is shocked at because it's, it's a phenomenal feat. So yeah, he's, Neil Parents is undoubtedly my, my biggest inspiration for my big year. Um, and he really is a role model and um, somebody who originally helped ignite my passion for bird watching. I mean, I can remember us meeting in a pool in Chinguetti up in the Kruger National Park and I was telling my brother-in-law about the night jars that were coming and drinking from the water and something small as that he overheard us and he got talking to me about which species of night jars these are and points of which I can look, uh, look at for um, when it comes to identifying these nitros. So he really was, it was, uh, he was, he's an amazing role model to me. What's lovely about this birding big is not only do I get to see all the fantastic bird species that Southern Africa has to offer, but I get to travel across seven different countries, namely South Africa, Lesotho, Swaziland, Namibia, um, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. So that's the entire, you know, Southern Africa area. And it's going to be phenomenal. I mean, I'm going to get to not only see birds, um, I get to see the, the magnificent countryside that Southern, uh, Southern Africa has. Um, I get to, to hike the mountain. At, uh, I, get, I get to hard, uh, hike excuse me, uh, Mount Gorongosa up in Mozambique to look for green-headed oriole. I get to walk the dunes in, uh, close to Walvis Bay to look for dune lock. I get to hike the zebra mountains looking for Angola cave chats. And I get to um, go across the delta in search of birds such as African skimmer, um, and so forth and you know it, it really is just phenomenal and that's that's what's exciting is not only is there the, the excitement of, of trying to reach that 800 mark but there's also ex the excitement that I get to see our fantastic country and what it, it has to offer in terms of wildlife and nature but as well as the cultural stuff such as the various communities in the different areas um, and yeah that's it's, it's really an exciting an exciting aspect So basically I'm starting here in Gauteng, come January 1 I'm going to be hopefully heading off looking for some owls and some known localities in and around the Randburg area. And then um, for the first three days I'm going to be birding the general Gauteng area, I'm trying to pick up some, some common, common species and hopefully pushing my list to 200, 200 plus. Um, and then on the 4th of, of, of January I'm actually setting off to Namibia and I'm going to be doing the central and western parts of Namibia um, looking for obviously the, the endemics in that area and then yeah after that I'm going to be coming back and most probably uh, doing my low felt trip so I'm going to be taking a bit of break because I need to write my Fagasa level 1 examination um, but in the interim there I'll be doing some some birding in and around Gauteng again and then I'm going to be heading off to do the, that, that low felt trip so I'm going to be going up um, through Null Spread area working Carp Shuhup um, and then up through Kruger, all the way up to the north, back down again, and then through the Soakpansberg, back into into Gauteng. Basically, the support from the community, the, 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 the birding community as a whole, is what's going to keep me going. Not only um, my family and my friends and their support, but it's, it's just everybody's support as a whole and not only in the birding fraternity but in the general wildlife community as well and everybody's support is just it's, it's uh, stuff it's small stuff like saying listen come out with me for a day uh, we'll, we'll go birding it's small stuff like that and comments on, on photos for instance it just, it just gives me that much more of a drive to achieve what I've set out to do and to you know to make a mark and help 
um, help show my generation specifically that birding is, uh, I wouldn't use the word cool, but I mean, but it, well it is cool, I personally think it's quite cool, but I mean, um, I, to, to show that birding is okay and to, to show my generation that, you know what, so what if you're in school, you know, you can still do what you love and express what you love at a young age and not wait until you're in university or the, or, or, or the higher um, years at university to only then show what you love and express how you feel towards nature and the environment. So that's really what I, I'm trying to aim to do. Um, you know, through these actions and, and trying to break this record for the youngest bird is a completed bird in Big Year. Um, but like I said, the main thing and that's going to keep me driving is the support from everybody out there, um, just urging me on and just, yeah, just, just being there and, and, and helping me out, whether it be with comments on my photos on my wall, wishing me good luck or merely taking me out birding for a day. It's, it's yeah, it's, that's, that's what's going to keep me going. The problem I have with my birding big year is that I've been in school for the past 13 years so I haven't really had the opportunity to go out into the working world and earn a, 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 an income of sorts. So I've, I've been highly, highly pressed with regards to cash and that's been one of my main concerns for my birding big year next year because I don't really have the money. Um, however, my, my family is, is uh, supporting me massively with the, in, in this regard and um, so are my sponsors and that's um, people like Zest for Birds with Trevor Hardacre and, and, and his partner are sponsoring me pelagic trips um, people like Etienne Marais are taking me out and it's just, it's, it's stuff like that that's, um, that's helping me out and it, it cuts down on it, it's small things a, a day out birding with a friend can cut down on a day of fuel costs for me and it's stuff like that that's that's really ultimately gonna gonna help support me next year. Um, and yeah, I, 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 I do need support. Um, I do need help with regards to, to funding. But you know what? It's next year's gonna be a challenge, and I'm gonna embrace that challenge, whether I have the money or the support or or, or not. Um, the fact of the matter is, I'm still gonna go out there, and I'm still gonna um, achieve what I've set out to do. Like I said, whether I have the money. Or not but obviously those things are, are greatly 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 appreciated